it's snowy. It's snowy, eh? It's okay, we're through shooting. With I'll guns in there. Ah, oh, it's, it's a lovely there. old snooker hole you've got here. I'll be a real shame for anything we're at. It's a, it's a fucking Give embarrassment. It a I'll, I'll came here for, for a hashtag. <laughs> I came here for a knees up. You Toby. You're Toby. <laughs> Pairing yeah, at the moment. True. If Barahino's still there, of course. He but might stay. Let's have a little tiny bit of uh, Football League chat. Um, we'll be back on it, obviously, when the, the season starts. But this, uh, in League One now, after the ridiculous happenings at Blackpool last season, the club are obviously hoping that their pitch will be ready in time for the first home match of the season. This is because they're having the pitch relayed due to some damage caused by the Neil Diamond concert that happened there at the <laughs> end of July. It's the most Blackpool thing in the it's world, isn't not, it? Not, it's the <laughs> end of July thing. I, 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 <laughs> can you schedule it in then? Yeah, fine. Yeah, the season starts a week is later. Is there a lot of moshing at Neil Diamond? <laughs> Apparently so, yeah. Appar- Apparently, I heard that Nile Ranger's a big fan of the Jewish Elvis. Loves oh, him. Oh, really? Loves is him. He? Yeah, well, yeah, fair enough. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. It's just that he was in the news recently. Um, yeah, but I'm, uh, he's always in the bloody news. I know. Blackpool fans, what next? No, yeah. really. all we can do is laugh. We can't do anything more. I went on a rant a few weeks, a few weeks before the end of last season, you didn't did. I? So you can you listen did. to that. That's how I feel. About I just it. wanted to yeah, say, nothing's really changed. <laughs> no, yeah, I was about to say it's. Well, it has changed because it's got even worse. Yeah, it's, ch- it's changed for the worst. If the, now Neil Diamond's say, coming, just raking up the <laughs> pitch. <laughs> all I will say, Blackpool, if you think you're going to get me on side by drafting Neil Diamond into the equation, <laughs> you're very much mistaken. <laughs> if anything, my resolve has strengthened. <laughs> Theory me. Bloody love Neil Diamond. Um, confusing, then, yeah. yeah. Okay. Whoever tallies up the points, and God bless you for that, then uh, one to me there. <laughs> <laughs> now let's go on to the European Championship qualification because proper points were dished out. Oh, mm. It's, mm. it's bloody getting good, isn't it? It's football on it the is. Scatman's world stage. Yes. <laughs> Let's go to Group E. England bossing it. Group England. Oh, smashing it up. Yeah. <laughs> Rumping it. San Marino with the latest to... Uh... San Marine who? Yeah. <laughs> You've got more cars than people, you idiots. Yeah. Flan Marino. <laughs> Jim, do you want to join No. Him? Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, England hammered them 6-0, the latest side to be put to... Put to the put Roy to Hodgson's sword. sword. Put yeah. to St George's sword. <laughs> Doesn't even need a shield. Flattened under the Roy Hodgson <laughs> steamroller. Smash the San Marinian or whatever you would yeah. call them, dragons. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Get lost. Decimated. Get lost, San Marino. <laughs> the team Give England airstrike. Go back to your fucking bakery. <laughs> <laughs> the Walcott Scud. Yeah. Smashed. Ah, job well done. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 6-0. Yeah. It's 6-0. It's, it's a 6-0 result away from home. <laughs> <laughs> it's 6-0. It's 6-0 it's... on the road. <laughs> it's 14 <laughs> goals in two games. In San Marino's backyard. <laughs> Which is in they Italy. They might as well move out. <laughs> yeah. They might as well move out. <laughs> Just yeah. close the country. They've been forced out by inflationary gold prices. Sink it. Of their own house. <laughs> Sink San Marino into the fucking sea. Yeah. Because it's been, not worth talking about them all. Cut it out and throw it in. <laughs> reclaim. Get a big catapult. <laughs> reclaim get rid of it. footballing get, tsunami. Get, yeah. get Italy to boot it into the stratosphere <laughs> yeah. with yeah. its foot. Mm. I've no, done this. Why are really saying I've done this 49 <laughs> times yeah. against much better opposition than you? So fuck off. Yeah. We'll cut it out, put it in the sea, mm. tie it over to the Isle of Wight, and then the, the residents of the Isle of Wight can laugh at it. Yeah. yeah. Just laugh at how shit it is. I'm fucking. I'm sick of talking about it. <laughs> Just get rid of. I'm sick of talking about Sandra oh. now. They're not even worth it. Shan Marino, more yeah. like. It's a northern expression about being Sham old. Marino. Sham Marino. <laughs> Rooney equaled Sir Bobby Robb. Sorry uh, about the swearing. Sir Bobby Jones, yeah. Uh, yeah, sorry guys. Record. Just get a lot of flu. In Ghana, there are some <laughs> concerns, though, amid domestic football getting poorer attendances. Now, apparently attendances have dropped off quite a bit in the last ten years with people preferring to watch Premier League games and, and on the telly and so on and so it's forth. It's a big problem in the world, over really that. Mm, it is. The danger of the best league in the world. Mm. Mm. People are believing that. Yeah, mm. they will. Um, however... <laughs> Help is at hand uh, in the form of Kwesi Niantaki, the head of the Ghanaian FA. He's got an idea. Mm. 
he believes, like so many people, that sexy girls are the answer. <laughs> yes, we can. <laughs> yes, we can. When are, yes, when are they ever can. not the answer, Marcus? Well, well, I would say. Is this guy lining up a FIFA presidential? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, he said on radio recently, um, me. I have. <laughs> I love that start. Me. 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 I have said this over and over again. We must let sexy ladies enter our stadia. So are they not letting them in at the moment? <laughs> this is quite bad. Like sexy ladies, get out. Mm. It's Bo- one of those things you should be agnostic about. <laughs> don't ban them. Yeah. Let them come in if they want. Build don't the encourage sta- them. Mm. Build the stadia and they will come. Yeah. Mm. And if they should be rewarded. <laughs> <laughs> they should be equal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Most of these men, when they hear um, the beautiful girls are coming to the stadium today, they'll all jump and follow them to the stadium. I mean, does not, that happen? I mean, that's no. not a good thing, is what it? I, what not, I love, not a great sentence, that, is it? What I love about that sentence, though, is in case you didn't understand that, he goes on to say, and they are going there purposely to, to see, see the, the ladies. ladies. Yeah. <laughs> all right! Yeah. I see these. That's, that's, that's what you so get weird. Yeah. 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 I mean, if you boil it down and take away the sexism, the idea is still trick people into going to games. Because <laughs> yeah. when they get there, there's going to be a football match on. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, great. Yeah, oh, free football match as well. I thought we were going to the, the club. <laughs> <laughs> well, the football administrator of the Ghanaian FE, um, Taki Achin, is backing um, the man who said that, saying, I agree, wherever you see flowers, there are bees. Jesus Christ. Turn me to the bee, that's you for me. That's a bit of Billy Piper, yeah. there. Don't um, you hear about her enough these days, That's very true, that's very true. But the man speaks from experience, though. He said, I remember when I was uh, watching one match, we bought some beautiful girls who were in nice jeans to the Sorry. stadium. Do you, do you mean brought? Yeah, brought. I said brought. You said bought. Don't, very different. Well, don't highlight that. The listeners wouldn't have, you know, we could have just gone it's in there. It's not a schmog. It's um, one of depressing acts and deeds, isn't it, really? The men in the stands went into a frenzy. Wow. Oh my God. And what I love Screaming, about Screaming, this... tearing at their own skin. <laughs> oh, the love... sexy ladies are here, gents. The sexy <laughs> ladies are here. What I love about Arrogant. this is not only has he managed to degrade women, he's actually, and I don't know anybody who's ever done this before, managed to degrade men. <laughs> yeah. How yeah. has he managed that? As you've said you've... many a time, it's all just a big <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> no one's coming out of this with any credit, yes. apart from possibly us. Yep. Presumably because the opening question is going to be based around this. Well, it may. Have, <laughs> I mean, that may or may not have influenced it. We don't, right, right. We don't have time to cover all that. <laughs> um, Chris Hutton and Brighton, though, they're still on top. But Steve Bruce and Sean Dyche are hot on his heels. Mm. Mm. Only team unbeaten in, in England, aren't they, Brighton? Yeah, 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 yeah. They are, yeah. You don't need to be hot on Brighton's heels. They'll muff it up. They're yeah. not caught up. Is Steve Bruce ever hot on someone's heels? <laughs> <laughs> um, only at a wedding. Paul, <laughs> only, only if he's spilling his dinner down him. <laughs> That's mean. What? That's very mean. What? Everyone's got to have dinner. The great thing. Yeah. <laughs> the great Some, great some of us need two. What, only, only one dinner, I was going to say. <laughs> um, That's a bruising the, bonus. The greatest England, English, English player to never win an England cap. We, he mm. shouldn't be, we shouldn't be derided like that. He got 19 goals in a Premier League season once. He oh, did no. take the penalties, but a lot of strikers would be happy with that. No, it's outrageous. Can I just say, every striker would be happy with that, with possibly regards, apart from Messi and Ronaldo, yeah. every striker would be happy with that. Paul Clements started well. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And also, I really hope the players took a selfie for Roy Keane after the game. Yeah. <laughs> um, among all this chat about the, 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 the outstanding results and the weekend and the managerial merry-go-round, it should be noted that Big Pard's Palace beat West Brom and he said after the game which is a little bit disrespectful to Palace I won't ever let it rest until I'm done to get to one of the big clubs because I want a bigger percentage chance of winning it's like he's a football Scarface now <laughs> yeah isn't it it is I mean, the funny thing is he's actually got a decent record at Palace but then he goes <laughs> why wouldn't I well because of the team that have just <laughs> welcomed you in they've yeah. treated you like a, a flipping deity I really envy Brendan Rodgers probably don't at the moment now um, <laughs> and Jose Mourinho and everyone else but that doesn't stop my determination to try and turn them over. It's Pards behind this. It's Pards all over mm. because because we talked about how he's changed his behaviour because he wants the England job. Well, maybe he wants shadows. the Liverpool job. But his feet are barely under the desk and he's already bigging himself it's up. Super. Yeah. Well, the, the England one as well. So not only is he talking about the big sides in the Premier League, he then went on to talk about England saying, if Roy Hodgson, and after Roy, somebody else, if ever turned up at my doorstep, I would say to the FA, I'll have one tournament. What? And then he went. That is not how it works. <laughs> it works. Went, they don't just come round. Yeah. Do they live in job. your house? All right, right. I'll have one tournament. Oh, sorry, Alan, I got the wrong address. He thinks he's Francesco Totti. <laughs> yeah. And then he said, <laughs> then he goes, I'll have one tournament. Let me have one tournament, win, lose, or bust. And my money ends when that ends. I'd be happy with that. Can I just say, there is no third option there. It's either win or lose. Yeah. What, what is, <laughs> in in that thing. analogy, what does bust actually mean? <laughs> no. oh, but he'd be happy with it. Yeah. yeah. What? Bust surely means that it's so bad England aren't allowed to play international football anymore. <laughs> yeah. As a, as a man, as a man who has made his feelings about not liking Alan Pardew very much quite clear, 
I, I remember when um, Barack Obama became the uh, president, um, The Onion went with, uh, black man gets worst job in America. <laughs> <laughs> I, just think, I just think, knock yourself out, Alan. Drink from the poison sippy cup that is <laughs> the England job. The only thing I'm apologizing you would have taken from that story, if he were to be listening, was... I think he's just compared me to Barack Obama. <laughs> <laughs> well, I probably could. I probably could manage America yeah. for a bit. And yeah. American I'd love people. A of drones. <laughs> do you think this is a? Yeah. Do you think this is, drone football would be great? Yeah, it won't be dronal marking, Jim. Of course, <laughs> indeed. Thank wow. you. Um, he'd, he'd use them to look at ladies through windows. <laughs> <laughs> you know he would. Sorry, Jim, please continue. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll reel it back from that. Do you think this could be the point where it actually starts to go pear-shaped for Palace? It's in the area. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, West London's having a funny old time. Fulham, obviously... I think it's very premature. Great win, for, great win for Birmingham, we should say, 5-2 away from home. But yeah, uh, Neil Warnock's been put in uh, temporary charge of QPR. Poor old Chris Ramsey. Mm. Uh, but Warnock said of his interim appointment, he couldn't believe his luck. He said, I don't know whether it's going to be one game, two games or whatever, but I'm going to enjoy it. <laughs> and if I can, I'm going to try and help them pick, presumably the, the new manager. I hope they ask me. Surely they'll ask my, for my opinion. <laughs> yeah. Nice for him to spare a thought for Chris Ramsey. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, like, I don't know if... whether it's going to be one game or two. I'm going to enjoy myself, <laughs> aren't I? But like, can you imagine if, they, if he, for some reason, had the job like permanently and took them up? Yeah. He's like a dog who's not allowed on the bed. <laughs> he gets... <laughs> He, he gets, he gets, he in, the Premier, he gets in the Premier League and then they sack him immediately. Yeah. Yeah. Oi, they come in the room. What are you doing? Get yeah, out! Yeah, yeah. Because he stinks the place out. <laughs> yeah. The dog who spent ages actually physically smashing down the bedroom door, yeah. finally getting into the bedroom, <laughs> and then immediately accidentally taking the shit on the carpet. And then out. Oh, Neil. Yeah. Yeah. Neil or... I hope they ask me. <laughs> they surely will ask my opinion. Yeah. Um, who do you think it should be, Neil? You sound like, Alan, you sound like Alan Bennett. Oh, Alan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, lovely old job there. I'm, yeah, I'm sure like, lots of people wouldn't think that. Um, right then, let's go to Turkey. This is a strange story. Some of you may have seen this. The president of Trabzon Spor apparently gave an order to security guards to lock four match officials in their stadium because they didn't award his team a like, penalty. So far, so normal. Carry yeah. on. <laughs> I can't see please, that being a problem with please, the authorities. Please continue. Standards have to be met. <laughs> The match officials were locked in until 4 a.m. after the evening kickoff and were due to be there until the oh, president. We're going to make last orders now. <laughs> you to keep us in. Well, they get first orders because they were there. <laughs> it's meant to be there until the morning. I say meant as loosely as possible because the club president he was going to arrive and presumably give them a ticking off. He basically said, "Keep them at the stadium until I get there tomorrow morning." <laughs> oh my goodness! Does he oh, stitch them? Imprison them? He's yeah. Oh yeah. He stitched the security guards right up there hasn't he yeah, presumably yeah, sorry the we've reason... got to imprison you yeah, can, can we go home <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, mean, we, I mean we haven't done anything wrong here I mean how yeah. scary must the guy be, be that as a security guard you actually do that I suppose you're on double time after a second <laughs> yeah. Yeah. the reason they were freed freed at 4am was due to a call from the president of Turkey <laughs> In the middle of elections as well. It's election My season there as well. giddy aunt. The officials left under an escort from special forces. That was a waste of flipping the public send purse. Him, send him the bill. Yeah. Well, the, well, the, pres- the, the Trabs on Spore president said, a very important person called me and asked me not to cause embarrassment in Turkey and around the world. Bit late. Past 3am. But also, also, I love this. I absolutely love this. Right? It's obviously, the important person was the president of the country. The president's had to call you to rein you in. And then he goes on to say that he promised the penalty incident would be investigated. <laughs> There's no moral high ground. Yeah. <laughs> How on earth have, have those I'll officials... I'll get my way. How have those officials got to the president? I know. That's outstanding. Well, this, is, uh, this is unbelievable. He also... Jose Mourinho's taken notes. Yeah, <laughs> G- give me Cameron. I want Cameron. <laughs> <laughs> well, he caused further outrage, saying about the incident: "If we're going to die, we'll die like men. We won't live like women." Yeah, I mean, it's just it's wow. why? Why do all these guys? Right, they've done ridiculous things. They have to throw a bit of sexism, yeah. homophobia, right, anti yeah. 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 Wasn't always... it, was it the male toilets? That's so, <laughs> we got to ask ourselves. It's always the same. They're never just happy with that. Well, and while I'm at it, I'm going to be racist as well, or whatever they might do. Yeah. Just referees getting tic tacs out of a condom machine <laughs> for sustenance. Yeah, there's only yum, one yum, left. yum. I've no change of a tenner. <laughs> get, get me a Menhanza, will you? Yeah. Get me oh, a chewable toothbrush. It's just get me a vibrating uh, willy ring. Get me out. <laughs> Let me out. <laughs> so there we are. There we are. Now it's. Oh, I have no idea. But to be fair to them, they won, so I can't complain. Yeah, they do. Yeah. I, had a, I had a lovely story about talking of uh, like lower league, um, non, what, non-league managers. You remember I mentioned before about my old uh, non-league club, Leatherhead? Yeah. And one of their managers uh, being 
rather explicit during half time yeah. team talks with a friend of mine he carried on playing for Leather and there was another manager who took over and if they'd played really well and the manager was in good spirits apparently he was he had quite a you know a, a funny shaped body yeah. and he would before they got into the dressing room he'd, he'd whip his kit off and just be standing there naked and they'd walk in and go well I thought you boys deserved a laugh oh my god <laughs> demeaning himself in the quest for wins like a jester <laughs> covering himself in his <laughs> on extra mode, like, yeah, this is me, respect me. Speaking of... Oh, here we are once again. Now, Cristiano Ronaldo said on the Jonathan Ross show recently that he wants to end his football career with dignity and not play in the US, Qatar or Dubai. Dignity? Did he see that film that he what? made? There's nothing dignified about that he film. Just put out. Exactly. He's not watched it. Doesn't mean he hasn't he watched it. Yeah. 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 Um, well, what would you like to see old Ronnie do with his time after he hangs up his boots, Jim? This is not some... that as well. Peter. Yeah. Um, so about five years ago, stick me on this one. <laughs> uh, five years ago, uh, Ireland uh, gave away free cheese from the EU cheese mountain. Yep. Sounds nothing... a wonderful place. Well, I mean, they were under under the cosh for their terrible abortion record, et cetera, et cetera. So they thought, vote winning, we'll give away a lot of EU cheese. Irish mature cheddar, was it? Yeah, no, no, I think it was just cheddar, just normal cheddar. I don't think it wasn't even Irish mature. Play it, was, it safe. It, it's quite, it, was quite, uh, it was quite weak, as I recall, the cheese experts at the time. But then we didn't hear anything from it. No. Which makes me wonder huh. whether people can grate it. I mean... So get his abs yes. and get the Irish to grate their cheese on his abs. So Sorry, if you want to be if you want to be European, Luke, I've got an issue you've had here. Your turn. Just, to be just fair, hang on. I think we should let Pete finish. I it. think Marcus is perilously close to actually getting on board with this, and I'm yeah. worried. Yeah, and I'm, I'm worried. Yeah, same. Just a lap. I never d- thought I'd hear me say this. It's not but driving Miss Marcus. I'd like to hear more from Pete, please. <laughs> so I worry because it's all gone quiet on the Irish cheese front that they have been unable to grate it, and there aren't enough graters. In Ireland, so if you want to be European Player of the Year, yeah, you could, you got to be the European Cheese Grater of the Year. Grater of now the year. lay down on the bed and let's get great. In. That's right. You're a great player. I'm a greater player. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And, and we'll be through that. Rescue. EU. Thank him. No. Thank him. No. Word player will never rescue anything. <laughs> Unless it's a, a life jacket and it's and it's got words on it. You don't know until you try. No. That'd be a weird trio, wouldn't it? <laughs> Chelsea, Villa, and Newcastle. Yeah, three a... fairly big clubs. Yeah, well, oh, huge clubs. Don't yeah. do don't do uh, the three of them a disservice, Peter. Mm. Um, they did themselves a disservice on on the weekend. Um, shall we? Yeah, all right then. Okay then. Oh, uh, Donaldson Derby. I am really pleased with the performance. We were terrific. We were really good today. The win was Pardew's 100th win as a Premier League manager, and the first time that Crystal Palace have scored five goals in a Premier League match. Yeah, setting records. <laughs> Trailblazing. <laughs> oh, what he said after Donaldson. the game. It was actually genuinely quite sort of uh, humble after the game. He said because um, he knew he couldn't get away with it. Yeah, he people, knew. People say all kinds of things about me in Newcastle. They say I'm smug or whatever. <laughs> Blah, 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 says that the he, world's yeah, smuggest and he, bastard. And he wished them well. <laughs> and then he said, on top of that, almost to um, completely you know, disprove what he just said, he said, <laughs> regardless of what opposition we played, I think we'd have won today. <laughs> but what he meant was Jimmy Nail, Ant, Sting, Deck, <laughs> Pete Donaldson, your boys <laughs> one hell of a meeting. <laughs> Sky, Sky put the boot in as well on there minute by minute. I'm just going to uh, read some highlights for you Why here, are you doing Pete, that? that I've, um, I've compiled. Because I was oh, effectively Pete. watching it on a train. So, <laughs> four minutes, nil-nil. Newcastle have their first little foray into the Palace half and Sissoko whips a decent-looking cross into the area, but it avoids all his players. <laughs> 22 minutes, 2-1. Palace have Newcastle well and truly pinned back at the moment. They clearly weren't watching how Sunderland dealt with them on Monday night. <laughs> 56 minutes. Alan Pardew's name rings around Selhurst Park as his team knock the ball around comfortably in midfield under very little pressure from Newcastle. And this is the worst one. 62 minutes at 4-1. Jack Colback is not very good at taking corners. Oh, That's Sky! There was the, hey, the, that is a dig. The problem was the two corners he did take were both at the uh, where the away supporters were, right in the corner, as, as did Kabai. Actually, he didn't enjoy himself. No, <laughs> as, soon, yeah. as soon as he realised he had to take the penalty right next to the Newcastle support, he just went oh, and applauded the um, the uh, yeah. Selhurst massive. Oh. Um, so yeah, it, it wasn't. Um, I was I was watching it from a train, the pain train, Jim. Yeah, yeah that's well, what I was doing. Yeah, he, he obviously, it was part of his 100 Premier League victory as a manager. That's great for him. But he did say after the game. And I don't know if you're one of the people he's talking about. He says, "I have got people I love at that club, fans, 
staff and players. But whatever I say about Newcastle is contrived, so I don't want to say anything other than I hope their fortunes change. Yeah. It's big of him, isn't it? Yeah, it's big of him. Isn't Are you yeah, one of the fans? Gigantic. Gigantic. Uh, but uh, before all that happened... Newcastle went 1-0 one, one up, Peter. Yeah, yeah. didn't see that goal because I was late into the ground. <laughs> that's that's the worst thing. The, f- the frisking took too long and I missed and I missed that Ronnie goal. Oh, my God. The goal was a little suspicious, actually, Pete, because Palace really honestly the, didn't look like they were trying to the point where I think Pardew's gone, go on, give him a head start. The Let's other, really show him what we got. There's something very undignified losing to a team that have goal music. The only, I was not yeah. feeling glad I do agree over. with it. I do agree with it. The only globule of joy <laughs> that you could have experienced yeah. the whole day. Take it away. <laughs> you missed. Even that full sense of... What you know, a dreadful this is day. Oh, God. Donaldson's God. dreadful day. It was, oh, Did it you was, hear? Um, they actually put on extra security at London what, Zoo. Pete was there. In case the oh. travelling Geordies wanted to go and beat up some animals <laughs> to take out frustration. Some odd toad ungulates. <laughs> like a oh. Oh, or Those <laughs> pigeons at Trafalgar Square. No, one, one inside. Yeah, just gone. No, no. No. Well, I missed. I missed the eagle. Oh, oh did you? I missed the full version of Glad All Over. Yeah. Well, well, you got uh, it imagine, snippets yeah, throughout. You, got, <laughs> you probably got the whole thing in its entirety. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I got five choruses of it. Oh, flipping it! Mind your language. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh, I mean, Pete. Of course, joking. That would be ridiculous. That would be ridiculous. Well, I'd like you to answer this then. Which actor do you think could help Chelsea mount a title challenge, Jim? Uh, well, the thing that you know seems to be defining Chelsea's season is that none of it really makes any sense. <laughs> it's a very d- difficult thing to work out mm. why they're playing so badly and and why th- things have been going for them as they are, especially compared to last season. And mm. someone who. Um, as an actor, has really made his name by playing characters that can find solutions to, to impossible questions. Would be uh, would be uh, uh, what, what's his name the uh, the, uh, the, the, the the Jeff Goldblum um, <laughs> um, and obviously you know they have a lot of they lo- have a lot of top stars and it's not working, isn't it? So why not why not slide down to the B list? <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> Outrageous. Uh, I wasn't here for this argument. <laughs> and give uh, give Jeff Goldblum a oh, go. He I could see. work it all out. Now I'm a man down on this argument. Now you pounce. <laughs> well, I. I didn't. I didn't register and my. The uh, helped. I didn't register my uh, interest in this question. Go on. And my opinion. B list. Firm. B list. Absolutely. B list. Was A list. B list. No. No. I never, was. Never. never A list. Of course, he was A list. How he was in Jurassic, 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 Jurassic Park. Park. Literally, oh, we he... got meant. The football wrong. got mentioned on the IGN. Dot <laughs> podcast because of this. <laughs> they agreed. You're B-list, welcome. B list. Firmly B list. Firmly called. And, and and I think Chris Tilly on that podcast made the point that. Um, that Jurassic Park was a, a film made up of people who uh, had never uh, had never sort of been a list sort of thing. So Will Absolutely. Smith was was the only a lister in that film. In even then, it wasn't Day, that big. In Jurassic Park, in Independence Park. Day, sorry. In Independence Day, but that was his sort of breakout role in mm. that sense, wasn't it? Um, sorry, I don't mean Jurassic Park. I mean, I mean, again, Mark, I mean right, Independence Day. I'm getting well, Independence well, Day mixed up with Jurassic too. Park. Goldblum was the main man in that film. No, he wasn't. The dinosaurs he was. in and the Jurassic effects. Park Two. Yeah, his favourite film is that. Yeah, <laughs> he's he's not leading a movie. He's currently yeah. doing PC the World Fly. ads. The Fly was a cult hit, a surprise breakout hit. Mate, in an ideal world <laughs> and in all of our hearts, he's an A-list actor. But you got to accept it, right? Uh, how have you? What was the t- what was the Chelsea business? Uh, the Chelsea into? business was because um, you know Jeff Goldblum's character is generally the guy in Independence Day whose name I forget because you know he's B-list, um, <laughs> and, uh, and Doctor Ian Malcolm, Professor Ian Malcolm as well. They yeah. um, he he figures stuff out, doesn't he? When no one else knows what's going on, Goldblum's your man. If yeah. you need someone to play that kind of role mm. and actually just work out the solutions to difficult questions, yeah. he'll figure it out. In a, in a sort of like bizarre riddle like way, and he'll do it in a charming way. And, and that's what Chelsea need answers and likability. And He's his laptop of that. can unlock the Premier League like it unlocked <laughs> those alien defenses in Independence Day. Indeed. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Fine. <laughs> 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 I've sacrificed the points there, haven't I? Yeah. I'm, I'm going. Speaking of B-list, Pete Dawson. Oh, <laughs> well, I'm going for a spell. <laughs> Given the reason I make this point about Ranieri is because he had a reputation as this tinker man, as we all know, and I think he's made at least up there with some of the fewest managerial mm. personnel changes that anyone has made in the Premier League. So he hasn't actually had to do an awful lot yet. It'll be great to see, and it won't be great for Leicester fans, but it'd be great to see what he would do if Vardy and Mahrez got injured and how they'd get on with that. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think they should get Nigel Pearson's son back? 
Uh, absolutely <laughs> not. Strange question. <laughs> All right, boys, I'm back. Yeah. Oh, I mean, the no. worry with a character like Pearson is that he is still in the stadium somewhere. <laughs> Maybe in the foundation, <laughs> using think, it like a set. If you do, if you do think about that situation with Pearson's son, that kind of started the ball rolling. Uh, balls were involved. Um, started <laughs> the ball rolling uh, with uh, with uh, Nigel Pearson getting pushed out the club, and you could very much lay the success of Leicester <laughs> to what happened abroad. He's saying he's the thing. real hero. Yeah. Yeah. Man he's United not, Norwich. <laughs> Any interest in that? Yeah, it's a theory. Yeah. And, I, and I fear, Peter, for your sake, it will remain a theory oh. until you publish some kind of book about it. It'll be my uh, thesis. Well, Pearson wouldn't be able to make a rash decision like that. That is absolutely right. Now, at the time of recording, Crystal Palace are playing, so we won't talk about them directly, but we will say that the big news concerning the club is that the man has been arrested on suspicion of trying to punch Palace's bald eagle, American mm. bald eagle um, called Kayla. The incident was alleged to have happened in September against Charlton in the Cup, and uh, the, the bald eagle's been the mascot since 2010, flies around the ground before kickoff, before every home, every home match. 34. That's mental. <laughs> 34 years old. What is old, happening yeah. in football? People trying to punch animals and birds, Pete. I mean, well, I, you're can the you sort imagine, of go-to you guy with this. Sort of being, like, just being up on a, a, an eagle punching charge. It's not how you want to live your life, <laughs> is it, really? <laughs> really? Like, we all get excited. Genuinely. 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 Imagine that. You go to prison for... It probably won't be a long sentence. <laughs> like, what, what are you in for? I punched an eagle. <laughs> well, that's what he, he did. Didn't even do it. He tried. First day, first day in prison, you hit the biggest eagle in the room. Yeah, that's <laughs> what you yeah, do. There you go. Send a message. Well, I think do, you know, do you know who the eagle is? Yeah, the Kayla. eagle is no. The eagle, no. Kayla, is the eagle from the front cover of Only by the Night by Kings of Leon. Really? So that eagle uh-huh. has clearly achieved more in its life yeah, um, than that man. Than that man, even though it's an eagle. Yeah, yeah. that is wow. incredible. But the fact is, the eagle's flying around the stadium. The last thing I would it's do... It's bold, isn't it? Yeah, it, but it is bald, Jim. The last thing <laughs> I would do if the, if the eagle's flying around with its big talons out... Its big talons. ...is thinking, oh, I'd love to punch that. I'm, I'm going to chin that yeah. birdie bird. <laughs> oh, dear, that bird get higher than me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's the last thing I'm thinking. Take that, you flying monster. <laughs> yeah, you, you beaky knob. <laughs> <laughs> Just, yeah. Oh, dear, dear, we're going to talk about... Yeah, that's the big FIFA news this that's week. big one. <laughs> well, if you could pick someone who isn't a professional footballer to play for a national team, who would it be, Jimbo? Well, I had a couple of ideas. Um, so, yeah, who, the, the person I would really go for would be Benny Hill for England, because <laughs> you may remember the pace on the man was just absolutely... <laughs> no one could catch him. Just incredible. Yeah. Well, no one could catch him. He was determined to chase a lost cause. We saw that. Yeah. Run, run around the nurses. He kept, kept running, running around. He could, never, he could never catch those nurses, though, could he? So, well, well, yeah. Yeah, get he, the nurses in, anything. chase it. That yeah. is a relentless pressure. Game yeah. from Hill, the gag and pr- the sex and press, <laughs> <laughs> the, the milkman, milkman press, the milkman press. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the yew tree press. Oh, yeah, he, he, he never gave up a lost cause, did he? Jim? Absolutely, he's all about the seconds. And a lot of the Jamie Vardy about him. <laughs> 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 mm. Yeah, Benny yeah, Hill it. for that's England. Yeah. Pests yeah. should not be encouraged. Lovely. Yeah. I'm surprised the league wasn't like smashing a tinny. See you finish the tinny first. Yeah. Smashing a tinny. Well, if you could inject a Christmas tradition anywhere into football, what would you go for, Jim? Um, I would like to see team. Muslim. My dad's not a racist. Yeah, yeah. yeah you team people. And if I have to say that one more time, which is ironic, given that his son is a Muslim. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I've you've all gone down the food route. Well, Christmas, you? isn't it? That's what Christmas is. Yeah, like, well, there, there are other things. You could have had, a, you know, Christmas trees for goalposts. That would be nice. We had tents around the goalposts from Jim. Not the same, is it? No, it's not. Um, I went for uh, mistletoe being introduced at one game. You don't know where it's going to be. Yeah. And suddenly, mm. oh, the missile does it. And both managers have to get off of each other. Oh, that's like, good. Like, full on you, To be yeah. honest, Pete, I knew you'd be behind this. Because it's kissing. That's yeah. the other one next exactly. to yogurt. I, I thought, thought that, you'd have this. That yeah. makes it the top three. The top three of Pete's <laughs> go-to, go-to tropes yeah. are yogurt, kissing, kissing. men kissing, and, and, um, wetting and yourself. bath tubs. And wetting yourself, yeah. Wetting yourself, yeah. Yeah. yourself <laughs> kissing, and yogurt. Often I'm in that order. I'm proud of that one, After you've done the two, you get the yogurt as a treat. I went for a phase of answering every opening question about two years ago. I was just Probably wet myself. <laughs> Whatever was a goal celebration, I'll probably just run to the bench and wet myself. And then yeah. kiss everybody. Yeah. So, yeah, so you don't know where it's going to be? It could come in on a drone. It could, it could, it could yeah. be like the, you like know, when they have the FA, uh, not the FA, got the Premier League uh, trophy in the helicopter. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It could turn up at any moment. Yeah, a mistletoe floats. drone is a proper, yeah. like, perverse use of technology, <laughs> isn't it? Just imagine just walk around the park. Like, yeah. 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 Number one number one choice for me would be Kike Sanchez Flores. Yeah. Mm. Uh, bottom choice for me would probably be. 
Because um, Hiddink and Van Hal. Van Hal. Because it could have been yeah. the Van Dutch Hull. guys going at it. No. I, mean, I, mean for, I mean, for me to kiss, I mean. Oh, I thought you were talking about the fixtures that we just had. Steve, Steve McLaren, I think he'd, look, he'd feel a bit flaky. A bit teethy. He'd, he'd be bitey. Think, yeah. yeah, he would be, yeah. Bitey. Yeah. <laughs> there we are. Big Sam wouldn't be pleasant. No, I think, you know, I think he's, he's, got nice, he's got some nice kisses. Come here, you. Yeah, 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 it'd be sloppy. It'd be, it'd be, it'd be very, very generous. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you can have it. Yeah, yeah I think he'd be okay. <laughs> okay, yeah. fair enough. You know, yeah. he's, he's, mid, he's mid-table. When I say he'd be okay, <laughs> it's in the context of the answer. I don't think generally Big Sam would be all right to snog. The beauty of the Big Sam kiss would be the cover you get alongside it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Big bear hug, wouldn't it? Yeah. He'd find it funny, wouldn't he? Yeah. yeah. What about pards? Uh, he'd, he'd, he'd probably be really arrogant about it. He'd, he'd stink of right. cologne oh, as well. Get in line, <laughs> yeah. get in line he'd say. Yeah, yeah. yeah it'd be get in line, oh, This is my 14th one today. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm still going to go at it absolutely hammer and tong. <laughs> yeah, I think he'd slip a tongue in there. I'm going to snog the granny out of it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he's saying. I'm going to snog its back doors in. <laughs> <laughs> And, and then he'd get the girl that he's drawn on his wrist to uh, kiss you as well. <laughs> yeah. I, think, I, I think we've spent too much time on the opening question. You did the kiss. You brought kissing yeah. in this time, I did, Marcus. and it's won me the points. Yeah. Yeah. Well yeah. Done, Marcus. I, mean, I can't even remember what full-time was and fully booting his assistant <laughs> manager up the arse. Like, yeah. it's, what are you doing? <laughs> you can't, that's assault. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Um, can I? Is it worth me? I, I mean, is it worth me popping up with those two guys who were tweeting at Richard Keys? <laughs> oh, that was fun. <laughs> yeah, fair to say, yeah, that's right. good. Yeah. Um, I, I noticed on uh, Richard Keys Twitter uh, earlier today that um, there's these two guys who were. Um, I don't know them, so I'm not. I'm not going to name them because I don't want to. In case they're the father of some other terrible stuff. Yeah. yeah. But they're, they're, they're tweeting uh, Richard Keys, and uh, one of them, and Richard Keys was doing some sort of like question and answer thing. Mm. Which he regularly oh, does. Yeah. I mean, oh. uh, which he's asking for trouble, by the way. Yeah. Um, and this first guy comes in and says, uh, "How many pillows were stuffed with the hair off your hands when they shaved them?" <laughs> Hashtag given mitts. <laughs> given mitts. <laughs> and then his mate just chips in and just says, "He just says, fucking hell, Keezy, he's done you there. Remember when you said to Gray, you would, would you smash that? Good times." <laughs> And then the other guy comes back and then says, and they coffee and keys into this. Comes back and says, yeah, then you ended up on talk sports and then non drip gloss for wicks. Ha ha. Spectacular fall from grace, you mug. <laughs> Jeez. That is what Richard Keyes' Twitter must be like all the time. Like, honestly, if you look at literally anything he tweets, people just say banter. It was banter. Yeah. Banter. Were you just having some banter? It's amazing. It's funny oh, you mentioned that, Jim, because Richard, uh, the good man Richard, replies by saying, um, I genuinely feel sorry for sad people like you, but if I did have a fall, fine. And you? Nowhere to fall from. Both of them come back straight away. It was just banter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Richard. Oh, as Richard purgatory. As Richard, banter right. purgatory. Right. Richard squirms on the fish hook <laughs> <laughs> as he eats some Donaldson yogurt. Yeah, <laughs> oh, Donaldson yogurt. Uh, do we yeah. have any uh, website roundups? So babies are made. We do have. Uh, and yeah, just basically try to talk his way out of the job. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Another a final honourable mention for moment of 2015. Although it was something that happened way, way, way before 2015, but it, it came to our attention in 2015. It was from Big Pavel Cernicek, former Newcastle United <laughs> well, goalkeeper. Another dig. <laughs> yeah, well, he's, he, well, he's released his autobiography, and he's uh, he's quite. Um, um, candid. He is. <laughs> he's was... quite candid, but in a way, he's not said anything I didn't already suspect. <laughs> <laughs> right, Newcastle were obviously in the title <laughs> running against Manchester United. They were leading the way and they were cruising to a title. They went to Liverpool and Anfield, lost 4 3. It was a huge game of importance, but it was also deemed one of the greatest games in the Premier League's history. I think of... it probably was the greatest or game. Or Premiership. Yeah, I it think it probably was then. the best, I'd say. Right. Mm. Okay. Pavel Cernicek was in golf in Newcastle United. He's a very good goalkeeper as well. And it came out in his autobiography that before the game, as Keegan's G and everybody up and giving a few words of encouragement, as you would, as you would need, it's a crucial game. You're away to An- Anfield. It's, it's, a, it's a tough place to go always. And you need the points to get yourselves in a good position to get over that Premier League line or Premiership uh, winning line. And obviously Manchester United in goal at the time had Peter Schmeichel, one of the greatest goalkeepers of our times, people would yeah. agree. And as they're just about to take to the field, Kevin Keegan turns to Pavel Sodancic and says something like, why can't you be like Peter Schmeichel and win matches for us? <laughs> <laughs> in my head, when he was doing that, he was like jogging on the spot and biting his nails. It's like his own worry just coming out. It's just being projected onto Sodancic. With his foot in a bucket. <laughs> <laughs> just before an enormously crucial game he has a massive dig at his own first choice goalkeeper who's played very well that season. Just before. Just before. 
He doesn't even he doesn't even know it's a dig. No, he no. thinks it's a good thing to do. Yeah. Yeah. On you go. Yeah. I mean, this will help you yeah. to know that you are definitely not the best goalkeeper let, in this league. Let that inspire you. <laughs> I don't even, even, even think I designed Shaka his luck by that point. <laughs> oh, dear. But he said, so like, I know Shaka was uh, in goal for like some of the rest of the season, was he? Yeah, yeah later what, on, yeah. What did yeah. Pavel Sercek actually say in just, his autobiography when he said that? He just said he was like, absolutely crushed, of course. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he said like he, he, he couldn't do anything. He couldn't think yeah. straight. He couldn't concentrate. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I'll tell you what he could do. Let four fucking goals. <laughs> 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 he did drop to absolute clangor in it as well. Oh, no, no. Was, there were, none of them were big clangers, were they? Yeah. He said the only one that he thought he may have done better was with 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 Collie Moore's right. At the, <laughs> with Collie Moore's right I mean, there, which was near post. Yeah. Yeah. But one, the there, thing really? is with Collie Moore, it was close range. It was hit hard. I personally wouldn't blame him <laughs> for that. So regardless of whether there was Had a clanger or not, he saved it. <laughs> they, oh my what, goodness! What do you think he said? <laughs> <laughs> What did I tell you? It's like it's like he just like went, just grabbed a light bulb and jammed it into his hand. Just went, yeah, what? You, can you do it with this? Can you go keep with this with a bleeding hand? No, I can't. Oh god! I mean, can you, he's, he's probably come off with Keegan thinking, well, he's, he's ignored my advice there. Yeah. The Keegan estate is hurting. Such a... Pavel Sernicek released his uh, autobiography, so I'm going to give you um, a week in the life of Kevin Keegan. Oh, his diary, all right? A present to us all. Exactly. Bloody looking forward to this, Peter. Exactly. Yeah. So, Monday. Had to take Keith Gillespie to the Royal Infirmary because he'd swallowed a pog. <laughs> God, why can't my players be more like my best friend Terry McDermott? With his mop of hair and lovely moustache, he really is a fine figure of a man. He won three European Cups and six Division One titles, but when it comes to hunks, my wife says that she prefers Graham Souness, who only has five English League titles to his name. Is she mad? <laughs> Tuesday. Got Coventry at the weekend. I do like their strips. I keep on asking the chairman to switch to Pony. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Pony! I can't see any reason why they can't be as big as Adidas in the next ten years. <laughs> Their jackets make even Dave Merrington look presentable. It's a big game for us, especially as things have been going of late. People say my dressing room lacks discipline, but that's not true. I caught Barry Venison smoking opium in the loose again. <laughs> Wednesday. Joe Royal rang. He wants to know about the availability of Paul Brayson. I said he's happily married to a PE teacher, the weirdo. What's wrong with hitting the clubs, Joe? With those baby blues, you'll be trapping off in no time, I said. I mean, you know Terry McDermott, but you're still the manager of Everton. Oh, Terry, what's in that gorgeous head of yours? <laughs> trapping off. <laughs> <laughs> Thursday. Tino's out for Saturday. He says he threw his work permit on the fire thinking it was money. <laughs> Bless him, he must be freezing up here. Mark Hottiger popped in for a chat. Christ, Mark he's Hottiger. Christ, he's looking more like Mark Knopfler by the second. <laughs> I hate Mark Knopfler. I've told John Hall to sell him. <laughs> Friday, light training today. I say light, <laughs> tackles were flying in everywhere. <laughs> Honestly, my team are unhinged. I don't know where this lot get Oli Anger from, because it ain't from me. I asked developmental coach Nigel Pearson and reserve team coach John Carver, and they didn't know either. <laughs> Saturday, Paul Kitson died. <laughs> we beat Coventry, though. Gordon Strachan really can't cut it as player manager. I'd love that as soon as I get my cast off. Oh, yeah, I forgot to say it. I dropped a bag of sharp sand on me foot. It wasn't even my sharp sand. I was having a whole lady at B&Q. I wish I was as indestructible as Terry D. Oh, Terry. <laughs> Terry D. Monday. Dear Diary, sorry about not writing an entry on Sunday. The lads found you on the team bus on the way back from the Midlands and Mark Hottiger took great pleasure in counting every time I mentioned Terry. Terry's now not talking to me and Nigel keeps giving me angry looks. Honestly, what a week. Oh. A week in the life of Kevin Keegan. Merry, you, Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas, everybody. Purely factual. Yeah, <laughs> purely factual. <laughs> Maya. Uh, whereas Swansea oh. definitely are. They, they're, You're giving they're, it some now, are you? I oh, have, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, uh, they're, they're in 17th. They are on 19 points. They are two above Newcastle United. They've yeah. won one in their last nine, and that was against West Brom. To be honest, I don't need to say, oh, they're 19th and they're this, that, the other. All I need to say is they're two points above Newcastle United. We're very We're much the, the foundations. <laughs> yeah. The foundations of the league are Aston Villa, Sunderland and Newcastle, yeah. pretty much. Yeah. Uh -huh. The thing I like about Newcastle... Almost we, sounds we, like a compliment, doesn't we, it? We will go back to Man United Swansea in a minute, but the thing I like about Newcastle is... <laughs> that <they're, laughs> Here we go. Obviously, they are terrible. 
But like they're not content with being terrible. They have to chuck in two really good wins against Liverpool yeah, and Spurs, yeah, and then go back it. to being terrible. Yeah, exactly. again. Just I, going like, here's what you could have won. Yeah, I, yeah. I stood on the terrace. Uh, the terrace. I stood uh, uh, watching. Stood on your seat, screaming with your shirt off. Shouting, why must you be like this all the time? Before, I hate you. Before punching a horse every time. <laughs> punching and a said, yogurt. And I said, punching a horse out. in a layby. I punching said, a yogurt on a horse. I said, in a layby. We haven't talked about yogurt on this show. That was the previous show. All right, you can't bring yogurt into this now. I said to my mate Alan, down in, in, on a, a mine. in a half filled bath. <laughs> in what? In a half filled bath. Why would I be on, on a mine? mine. Oh, Tep- in a mine. Tepid, tepid bath. Hartley Puddlings are shipbuilders, not mine. Screaming screaming Jimmy Nails Big River. <laughs> <laughs> this is just racist. <laughs> Well, gazing long- longingly at an oil rig. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not even on land, you maniac. It's not gazing longingly at You're looking at it. How <laughs> many oil rigs are off the coast of Newcastle? I don't know. You're looking you don't at know. Oh, I don't know. You're looking at one, mate. Ships and mines, that's the region. <laughs> we've, we've, yeah. Yeah, all right, not oil rigs. And the ships go to the rigs as they get there. <laughs> the oil rigs are in the North Sea, like yeah. miles away. Yeah. Right, right up near Aberdeen and that. Good. There's your Good. geography bit. Anyway. Right, can we go back to the... To the Northern crying, Rock? Marcus? And that's because they sponsored Newcastle, which <laughs> is the association. Just we're go, we're going them. back to Pete being at a Newcastle game. What are you doing? I said, well, my, actually, I was, wearing, I was wearing an old Newcastle shirt when I was at Ormy, but my sister went, is that a new Newcastle shirt? I said, it's got Northern Rock on it, Helen. <laughs> 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 Read a bloody newspaper. I honestly. Should've, I should have mentioned something about Northern Rock then, shouldn't uh, I? Uh, uh, trip down memory lane. Jim brought in. Uh, no, I said to my mate that uh, Dal Yama is a very... At home, leading the line yeah. for Liverpool. Great goal, though. Yeah, I mean, just on, just on, yeah, he's he's in really good form. It's yeah. a good header, wasn't it? It's a lovely ball in. Mm. Um, just on the ticket price thing, I mean, uh, Jim, maybe you're a bit more familiar because I'm just going to mention Arsenal. I'm not sure if yeah. I mentioned this at the time, but I went to Arsenal over Christmas and was, the ticket prices at Arsenal were scandalous. I spoke to a guy who sat in front of me. Um, he, he uh, we just got chatting. And he, hey, just, you mate, you're going to eat that. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and I said, and I said, no, I'm not. And, he took it from me. Uh, and <laughs> I'll get onto pie price in a minute because that is another disgrace. That's just shocking. That <laughs> yeah, five um, quid pucker. Loving that. Do you want to feel why Marcus just gets? He loves a fat joke. Okay? No, I don't. Luke hasn't been fat for years. Yeah. I was laughing at well, something else. Yeah. Are you, are you okay, mate? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, and I was just going to say, I was trying to make a serious point. It was like the kids. So was I, and everyone just ignored me. <laughs> Don't have a go at me. He, he went on, on the button. Um, and. Blatter protesting his innocence again, yeah. saying this I have killed nobody. <laughs> I have not robbed a bank. Uh, I, I have not taken not any, traditional form. Yeah, yeah. I, I have not taken any money from anywhere. Mm. Uh, I was even treating well all my ex girlfriends at the, the same time. Yeah, as I another love, one on the go. I love this. This is classic set because yeah. it starts off being really arrogant and defensive, then just goes massively yeah. off piece. <laughs> he, he says it's true. They defend me. One I was only married to for a few months, and she is really defending me. <laughs> What on earth is going on? I've got a fever highlight as well. That's because they're entitled to half of it. I've got a fever highlight as well. I'm not making this up. I can't remember the guy's name, but yeah. FIFA have just banned the guy for 90 days uh-huh. for failing to observe his 90-day ban. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best ban oh, in the history of football. <laughs> Only behind Rene Higita, who uh, got done for cocaine and got a six-match ban <laughs> in Colombia. <laughs> <laughs> who was it? Um, one of the FIFA presidential candidates sent them transparent voting booths as well, seeming to take the idea of FIFA being transparent. Class. Apparently very very literally and they're just <laughs> refusing to use them that is absolutely brilliant um, this is another highlight um, I've got an email here we go okay. I never read out an email on a Monday but uh, goodness me this is right up my straws uh, right <laughs> uh, from a man by the name of um, Matt hello Matt does he want to be named even just his first name uh, I think it's going to be fine because we're going to have to bleep a lot in this okay, email alright alright right, all right. Um, right. Here we is, go. It, is it yeah. testicle Matt I don't know. Okay. I mean, it, it's certainly um, of below the belt, this <laughs> day. Sorry about the belt. Good luck. All right, yeah. OK. Um, hello from Sydney. So I met a girl I last... Sydney was called Matt. Hello from oh, Sydney. Oh, Shut oh, up. Very good. Not good. Not, no, you don't say name. very good for everything, but it's not good. It's not allowed. <laughs> Sorry, I'll keep quiet now. Right. Excellent, Luke. Hello from Sydney. So I met a girl last Sunday who uh, just came back from a trip around Europe where she was working on a mega yacht in... Keeping in mind, this girl was not into football at all, so she had no bias towards or against any teams. That must have been amazing, I said to her. No, it was awful. The yacht I was working on was owned by this old man who had a very strange fetish for poo. Uh-oh. Oh, me oh, and oh. the How other... made it through? <laughs> me, and the... <laughs> me and the other crew members would often find poos lying in sometimes hidden and sometimes open hidden. places. <laughs> Let me she's read the email. Look, she's looking for him. For, for instance, for instance, 
You would walk into the bathroom and there would be a, a poo in the sink or you would be walking along a, a corridor and you could spot a poo lying in the middle of it from metres away. Are other, we jobby? Other times he would just poo his trousers and leave them lying in a random place. He wasn't senile or otherwise disabled, he just did it for the thrill. He'd have a, diff, he'd have a different woman in his room most nights and when I went to his room to clean it in the morning, there would be a poo uh, covering the sheets. Not just little bits of poo, loads of poo. It would look like a big pooey crime scene. So, um, and he asks uh, his friend, My Jesus, God. who was this guy? What does he do and how did he get his money, I asked. She replied, I'm really not sure. All I know is that he owns a football club in I showed him a picture of That's him, she replied, a shiver going down her spine as she spoke. Can you imagine the chants and songs from rival clubs if they only knew? <laughs> now, the listeners at home... We'll not, not, have, heard not yeah. have heard that. Hang on, but he's not is he? That's got to be bleeped as well. Is it? Oh, idiot! Okay. <laughs> right, smoke screen. Yeah, oh, so we can't okay. do it with that. Oh, so okay, right. basically, there's a person in football that does that kind of thing. Very, wow! All right. Fantastic. <laughs> that is absolutely that is astounding. That's up, there, make... that's up there when we leaked that Keys and Grey video. <laughs> yeah. For me. For yeah, me, I mean, yeah. That, it's no, more, no, no, it's no, no, that's provab- much better. It's more provable, that one, though, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. 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 More... Can I just say for the league of evidence. Richard Keyes did threaten to sue us for that. We've not heard anything yet. No, oh, we've not heard anything. He's got no grounds, but <laughs> just for the record, he's not related to this story anyway. <laughs> no. It's not Richard Keyes or Andy Gray. No, no. I'm sure they don't yawn yachts. Yeah. Well, I hope not, anyway. But if they did, there'd be not poo on the floor. Yeah. I just uh, let's so, go well, to a, a website round yeah. Uh, yeah. West Ham host Manchester City. Oh, hey, this is a big one. Mm. Manchester City stuffed them at the Etihad. It's, it's all falling into no, place. No, sorry, West Ham West stuffed Ham Manchester wow. City at the Etihad. Oh, come sorry. on. And, uh, yeah, why do you hate West Ham get so much? Get your stuffing yeah. right. Hang on. Why do you hate them <laughs> yeah, so much? Why do you hate West Ham? Why do you hate the team that won the World Cup so much? I don't. Yeah, what have you got them? against the West Ham way? What have you got against the boys of 66? <laughs> what about the Craigs? They were nice to their mum. They only hurt bad people. What have you got, what, what have you got, you got, with the what you got against Green Street and a lot of saris? I hey? came here for some football chat. What have you got against markets? What have you got against the working class and the jelly deals and the spirit of the blitz and we'll meet again? Pine mash as well. Pine mash and eels. What have you got against not being able to get on the tube afterwards for like an hour? <laughs> yeah. What have you got against um, the crazed granddad, Cannonball Lee? <laughs> <laughs> what have you got against the moving ground next season? Mm. Mm. What, what, I, I've got what have you got against Karen Brady? <laughs> <laughs> what have you got against that northern actor in Green Street's Cockney accent? Oh, I, I am from... What have you got against that actor who went to my school? What have you got against that actor who went to my school? What have you got against Pete's school? <laughs> Kieran Bew. <laughs> or in Hartlepool. Get out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Marcus, get on with it. What, <laughs> what, what you got against Lynx? <laughs> <laughs> uh, which one of these would you like me to answer first? None of them. <laughs> okay. Please move on. All right. Um... Yes, West. She's, she's yeah. always in the papers. They are not good at the old mind games, are they? The Benitez is. No, I, they, really <laughs> not. Really not. <laughs> well, they're, they're hardly the, like House of Cards, man and wife. No, really really given that, given that <laughs> managing Real Madrid is one massive long mind game. <laughs> yeah, he lasts for about five months. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The mind no game one can win. No. Uh, well, Benitez uh, responded to Sam Allardyce as you rightly said. So that, that was uh, in his book that came out last year about the Champions League stuff. Right. So there was loads of uh, feuding in between uh, that and um, the, the Barcelona comment, you know, when he when he made that gesture with his hand. Yeah, I remember uh, that, yeah. Which was... Just, I didn't think of it as game over at Anfield when he was managing Liverpool and, and Allardyce was managing Blackburn, but Allardyce was greatly offended by that. And Allardyce, of course, wrote in his book, uh, of course he can say he won the Champions League with Liverpool, which is something I never did, but it has nought to do with him. The word nought as well. Shall we choose a nought? The amount of drafting that any any published you know memoir goes through there's so many opportunities for someone to go you should what do you really yeah, I love you the idea about that? You really right. it's purely dictated though isn't it but I, like, love, I, I, from I, I, but I love the idea of Big Sam walking into the published office and going I know you're going to sub it. I know you're going to make some changes, but that is standing. <laughs> that is a deal breaker for me. I don't need the money. But that is a deal breaker. Munch, for Munch me. you got a Yorkie bar. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he says it. Yeah, uh, yeah. In, his, in his fist. You get it in the side of his mouth. Yeah. Like, one between his finger. Flex of like, like get more in there. Like a chocolatey yeah. Wolverine. Flex, yeah. <laughs> flex of like chocolate rock hitting the publisher in the face. <laughs> Seeing off packets of McCoys like yeah. the shots. Yeah. Um, uh, 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 like just. Scooping handfuls of them out of his pocket. <laughs> not even in packets. <laughs> but the thing is that Benitez, who was managing Madrid at the time, responded to this. Why on earth? You, he's it, dreadful so at mind games. Yeah. You're managing Real Madrid. They're arguably the biggest club in the world. He's chipping off about you and his book while he's 
I, I can't remember who he was managing, if indeed he was managing at the time. I think he was managing West Ham, was he not? Would it have been a possible? Whoever yeah. he was managing, it's yeah. not Barcelona or Real Madrid. He's, he's got a Google Alert set up. Yeah. I think we all know <laughs> yeah. well, uh, Benitez said, uh, do you know who Sam Allardyce is? Do you know how many trophies he's won? Well, that's my answer. No one's asked you for an answer. Yeah. yeah. You and, seem to know and, a lot about him. You shouldn't use a question as an answer, Rafa. Yeah. You called this press conference and you're playing Barcelona on Saturday. Yeah. <laughs> we weren't expecting this. Yeah. Well, it's, it's like the, um, that fact thing, isn't it? When Benitez tries to play mind games, he just ends up piling loads and loads of pressure on himself. Yeah. I'll tell you what. It's going to be he's interesting gonna, for you lot. He's going to fit in at Newcastle. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> They're fitting an absolute treat. I know. So, to answer the evidence. I said no. <laughs> you had your boys taking it. Yeah. Up all your lot, Julian. I'd take it myself if I could. Up yours, the rusty one. Are you a hero like me? I re- what Paz should have done was. Uh, Registered himself as a player, put himself on the bench that game, like that uh, England player for the uh, the hockey side in the Olympics. Oh, Sean Curley, wasn't it? <laughs> he used to put him on for penalty corners and yeah. then take him straight back off. Yeah. Pard slots it home. <laughs> That'd be yeah. fantastic. Be a hero Pete, like me. You'd have it, to respect that. It, I would have if he put that jacket on that, that uh, the man Ryan, uh, what his name is, from Drive has on. Oh, right, and, they play, and they play the song. Real you With the gloves. Hero. Yeah, <laughs> Pete, you have and to respect that. Do you hear that from Marcus? You have to respect that, Pete. A completely <laughs> fictional, completely fictional situation which would never happen yeah. for a hundred different reasons. A weird peccadillo, a pe- peccadillo <laughs> fantasy that uh, Marcus has made up in his head. <laughs> a man, you dirty little uh, sloth. Uh, that'll do. <laughs> you dirty right. little sloth. That'll do. Uh, dirty but... little sloth. <laughs> you dirty little knacker. Sloth. Slow furry, <laughs> your fur matted with moss and soil. <laughs> you dirty little you sloth, your muggy weird little <laughs> grin, your muggy little penalty. Why are you so happy looking? Sleepy little eyes, sleeping on your tree. Oh, oh. You dirty boy. Dirty <laughs> sloth. <laughs> Hanging about no. with your long, dirty fingers, dirty oh. sloth. Right, that's enough, Peter. <laughs> your dirty fingernails, your dirty <laughs> little, little melt. <laughs> I'm sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. Um, uh, Newcastle. Oh, you, what a oh, little you melt. melt. Oh, you melt. That's what Kabaya is, Marcus. Oh, you sloth. That's what Kabaya is, a little melt. <laughs> little, that's what Darlow said when he saved the pen. Oh, you yeah. melt. Oh, you melt. <laughs> I bet all the boys call him darlow Saving <laughs> so uh, your muggy little penalty. Yeah. It, was a good, it was a good penalty save, but it wasn't... Uh, Freeze company, four skin. A uh, ramble. <laughs> if you could design a, a theme kit just like the one described, then what would you come up with, Jim? Uh, well, I was thinking... Uh, I'll be honest. <laughs> it's the first well, it's sort of it. swung that way, but don't worry. Yeah. Let's swing it back, Peter. Well, mine's a little bit similar to Luke's, I must admit. It's a scratch and sniff shirt <laughs> where you don't know uh, what smell you've got until the end of the game. What's the point of that? Because <laughs> the manager can assign the smells without you knowing. So if the manager doesn't like you and he doesn't think you're doing very well at the end of the match, oh, smells of dog poo. Again, what's the point of that? <laughs> Some people have strawberries, some people have dog poo. <laughs> That's cleared up, thank you. Yes, yeah. exactly. Mm. What, so, so just so depends the manager's... on the manager liking them. It's like that. the Brendan Rogers envelope. Can I right? just say, this is no, in no way, as Hang you on. said, similar to my very well thought yeah. out idea. <laughs> Can we, by the way, I didn't I'm... Google patents. <laughs> I know that. The, the Brendan Rogers envelope isn't a euphemism, that was obviously. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> it's not a sex move. But <laughs> I've shut it in an envelope. <laughs> yeah. If you do check Google patent euphemisms, it is available. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. I'd love it if Brendan Rogers did the envelope thing and they weren't allowed to look in the envelope. That's Scratch will go, oh, yeah, that smells of me, actually. <laughs> yeah. So the scratch and sniff thing, presumably if players are sort of, you know, involved in some hustle and some bustle during mm. the game, they, they, it's going to get scratched and they're going to start smelling. So won't they know before the end? Well, I, I haven't thought that far through in the same way that... You surprise me! <laughs> Luke, your technology doesn't even exist. You I'm, shouldn't even be looking yours. at the patents. By well, the time this show's released, I would have patented it. <laughs> you can't patent something that doesn't exist. My, uh, I, just I have actually got a patent. I think I mentioned that on the show before. and It, it, was, a, it was a cup for um, salsa dips that you put on a kid's head. <laughs> And I spent 50 quid on patent in it. Not even kidding. Not even kidding. I'll show you the patent letter. I've still got it. Well, you couldn't give it away, could you? Well, you know, like newborn, you know, like when you have a kid and like your whole life changes and you just want to spend your time watching telly and, with, what, before what, falling asleep. What you think, the, you think the biggest change to your life is when you have a kid is going to be that you can't readily access enough salsa dip? Literally, a strappy. Um, Is that like a modern day? You know, on the the head. Marcus, we're, we're going to I, hate to be, I hate to be rude to you too. Yeah. Just let him talk. <laughs> <laughs> Just let him talk. 
I, I genuinely, I genuinely, well, I thought well, no, it was, we, believe, we believe you. I pinned it because it was a, it would be a good joke present for a new, uh, for a new parent. You'd be like, oh, look, I bought you this, and you're going, you're a horrible friend. Yeah. Because everyone's going to be buying like the same old boot tees and you are little drunk. gloves so that the babies don't scratch their faces. You were stuff. drunk with celebrity, sir. This is a bit like a much more innocent version of that uh, Freddie Mercury. Certain people having oh, trays yeah. on their heads at a certain party. You are drunk on salsa, young man. <laughs> <laughs> Can you get alcoholic salsa? <laughs> you say that to you. Uh, I think I think Jim's got the points actually. I was going to say you can't give it to Pete because the salsa cup for a child's head is not his answer. No, that was right. the side. Okay. Uh-huh. Well, yeah. I'm, I've just got the email up uh, I think it's... with with my. You want to read the pertinent? Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, just in case any of you listening and don't don't know Pete that well, maybe you're a new listener. Yeah. You thought maybe he's just. Hey, this... How are you doing? <laughs> He's just, <laughs> Why are you here? Yeah, he's C- just, climb um, aboard. He's just spinning you an elaborate yarn. <laughs> mm. Where are you going? Um, thank you for using the online patent application service. <laughs> a copy of the forms and your filing receipt is attached. Very good, Pete. It's, yeah. For anyone who wants to know, it looks to be like it's patent number... Uh, oh, no, it's not... You're not, yeah, you're not actually been given the patent. You just applied no, for I, it. No, that's my application. That's the only email I could find. But the patent application for your reference, infant headgear chip ball, was successfully... <laughs> Received on the 1st of September 2014 and is being processed. So, yeah, WebF at IPO, which I, I guess yeah. stands for the Intellectual Property, uh, property Office, dot gov dot uk. Mm. That, if you wonder where your tax money's going. <laughs> <laughs> so, there we go. Uh, there we are. Right. We'll have well. them in the, in, in the, on the Ramble website by Monday morning. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we, we, we must move on to uh, the Premier League. This is uh, at Ben93 on Twitter. It says, my highlight of the week was last Sunday playing Sunday League, the game descending into such mayhem that the referee gathered all the players in the centre circle for a word with five <laughs> minutes left. We were 4-1 up and spent the rest of the game protesting as little as possible to keep our points safe, even when their keeper, <laughs> even when their keeper called someone's mum cock breath. <laughs> We, we gravely hung on. <laughs> Last one, it just says, is this the worst thing you've ever done? Quite possibly. It says what? Is, is this the worst thing you've ever done? This sh- I, I, mean, I, know, I know what the worst thing Pete's ever done is. <laughs> and there's uh, a few of them. Yeah. The, um, the, I'll, I'll tell him. <laughs> <laughs> we'll all have our own, but let Luke. Yeah. I'll just say two words. The bucket. That's not the worst. That was loads of money. <laughs> <laughs> We're now sleeping on matches full of money. No, it's um. Yeah, I'm just going to say two words. The bucket. The bucket. I love how loads of people have terrible. Yeah, Everybody's got <laughs> something. And none, none of them make any sense to us. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing out there in the, the real world? The bucket. The bucket. Tell them about the bucket. You know. He knows. Yep. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care if you don't want to tell them. I want you to tell them more. You can tell them, or Luke can. Yeah, it's up to you. In last year when we did a few run, the, uh, we did a run of the short. Don't say the city. Don't say the city. Not going to say the city. We'd we'll like never... to go back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and we did, uh, yeah, we did the show. And uh, beforehand, Luke was insisting that basically the, the toilets weren't backstage; they were out in the auditorium. So to go to the toilet, it looked like you were showing off and saying, "Hi guys, who wants me to sign something?" Which who wants to fucking finish up for me? Yeah. Um, and so I, so I, I couldn't go to the toilet, I really needed the toilet, and Luke insisted on me... Well, I insisted that you, as, an, as a fully grown adult, <laughs> you wait till after the show to go to the toilet. I don't think there's anything disrespectful Anyway, I, I climbed up like this attic kind of area, and in a cupboard I found a bucket. <laughs> right. Oh, it gets a lot worse. No, listen, that is and the tip of the shouted, and, I, and I shouted down to Luke, I said, Luke, I found a bucket. I'm going to do a wee in this bucket. And Luke said, don't do a wee in the bucket. And I said, all right, I'm not going to do a wee in the bucket. Anyway, after I'd finished pissing the bucket, <laughs> uh, I came and I said, we did the show. Uh, and then I went back up after the show. You know, I'd, I'd had a lovely time. I got, went up back upstairs and uh, emptied it. And I realised it was a collection bucket for disabled child. <laughs> Pete Donaldson, everybody. People are clapping that. Yeah. They're clapping. When you got to go... So wherever yeah, you are, awful, um, awful. I hope that answers your question. There we are. <laughs> By the way, all right, let's on. talk more about no. football. 
Oh, you got to add break. Or do you, or do you, or do you want a bit of Scotland? Oh, I've got on. a bit of Scotland Lovely. for you. Right, okay. On, I don't Luke, usually. Do you want a point? We, Is it a tonic's carrying my wife? We don't <laughs> usually use. We don't use to apologise to the Scottish. I'm going to read out this cracking news story that uh, Slim, friend of the friend of the uh, Ramble, he's, uh, an sent East, in. he's an East Five fan. He's from he's the, an East he's Five from fan. You should say five. that's yeah. very important. F- the new story is footballer threatened to slit police officer's throat. Hearing told, footballer, oh, former, <laughs> oh, former Partick footballer Derek Lyle allegedly threatened to slit the throat of a police officer. It emerged during attempts to thwart his bid to become a director of a single cab taxi firm. That's <laughs> that's just a car, isn't it? Oh, um, bleak. Police Scotland uh, objected to the Queen of the South uh, veteran taking on the role at his mother's company, oh. citing previous convictions and forthcoming court cases involving allegations of assaulting or impeding, impeding the police. His mother's company. This isn't yeah. where the story driving his mum's car is good. <laughs> the allegations follow incident. I wish I'd have gone to the ad break. <laughs> the allegations follow incident. Pub, blah blah blah. Mr. Lyle is alleged to have told one officer who attempted to ascertain his identity, "You're getting it, you turkey," <laughs> and calling it and calling him, "You wee scone, <laughs> scone." Scone, yes, yeah, sco- old oh, scone then, right? Yeah, no, scone. scone, you'd be Marcus, right, scone. scone. Marcus, would you describe that as a strama? <laughs> <laughs> he, he, all, he is also alleged to have called the same officer a wee bovril. <laughs> And is, and is accused of, uh, of adding, uh, you're a wee jobs worth. If I ever find a link to you, they're getting it. Yeah, we do. I'm telling you right now, when I get out, I'll be carnage. Let's get Marcus to call someone. Do it, do you wee bovril in Scotland? <laughs> you wee bovril. <laughs> you yeah, wee bovril. <laughs> I'll slit your throat, you wee bovril. That's probably what he said. Do we, mate? Right, and yeah, break right. quickly. Yeah. It's Darren McAndrew. When asked on Twitter if the club was interested in the Nigerian English beast of a man, Adebayo Akinfenwa, he replies simply by saying, "Behave! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> don't bother pronouncing my last name. Peter's never going to get it right." Right? Okay. Chinugo, it's Chinugo, isn't it? Yeah. That's Chinugo. Well, you guys don't. You guys can't see the email. I'm, uh, <laughs> and uh, we're in your palm. Akinfenwa is not fat. Peter, ah, ha, ha, ha. So there we oh, go. Someone, uh, someone was trying someone to stir crap. Someone on you, didn't they? Yeah, someone squealed some little worm of a rambler. <laughs> Bloody tweeted, I can firm and go, Pete from the rambler said you're fat. <laughs> so if I'm not here next week, it's because yeah. that man... It's because we've sacked you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> for several poor performances. I've been snapped in half by uh, the muscular and sexually attractive... <laughs> Mr. Akinfenra. <laughs> so there we go. Uh, if you want to get in touch with the show, show at thefootballramble.com. Maybe we'll stick some in at the end. We've got yeah. a couple more emails, so it's, we'll do a little bit at the end. It's really poor, that, isn't it? From that little slug. Little slug. Yeah. Yeah. Just get stitches, mate. Do yeah. they? Do they run around too much? What yeah. right, just... oh, OK, fair enough. Right. I'm not threatening to stab one of the listeners. <laughs> 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 Make that clear. Oh, Luke takes one week off and we're, <laughs> we're threatening to stab the listeners. Wow. Last days of Rome, innit? <laughs> We're fighting amongst ourselves. <laughs> this is the new Europe! <laughs> Everybody at each other's fucking throats! <laughs> Jim's threatening to stab listeners. <laughs> oh, my word. Oh. Right, get on with it. We had our first brother, and I'm hotting up. Luke Moore's here. Happy Father's Day to all those fathers out there. Yes. All right? And, uh, Pete, we... We're not sh- we don't think you're a father, but how, how are you, good sir? <laughs> it's too soon to tell, Marcus. <laughs> He's a father of that mixing desk. Whether my spores have uh, borne fruit. <laughs> He's a father of fun. <laughs> it wouldn't be fruit, would it? No. <laughs> it's not fruit. It would be rotten, rotten vegetables. Rotten vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> At the bottom of a slag heap. <laughs> like the pathetic father that spawned them. Right, OK. <laughs> On Father's Day. <laughs> what other day am I going to say that? <laughs> Yeah, well, a pair of slacks. Yeah, <laughs> if you were appointing, if they were appointing an Englishman, which obviously what they have done, then haven't I think they just haven't they? They've <laughs> appointed the Englishman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, he's a two roasts for five quid at Weatherspoons oh kind of guy, man. isn't he? He's classic. He I is don't even classic know England. He'd have, a, he'd have a local carvery. No, you know, I'm, I'm not even talking about the food. It's just a classic right. kind of British thing to do. do you know, Pint of mild. Oh, do you, do you lovely. Know what they said they, when they talked about the English team not having an identity. Mm. And where's our identity? The Spanish have theirs. They, oh, they've built one with the tiki taka and, and the Germans and the Italians and whatnot. Although you could argue that they've changed, actually. And, and it, is that a thing anymore? Identity and national teams. England have got theirs back. Yeah. Big Sam is an allotment. <laughs> yeah, he is. He's a load of doors yeah. nailed together to make a fence round a, a shed full of pornography and snuff. Yeah, and yeah. other stuff that goes and, on in there that you don't talk about. And, yeah. pictures, and pictures of um, motorbikes with ladies draped over them. <laughs> yeah. I, I agree with you all. Pete, you went too far with the yeah. content of that Pete, shed. Cabbages. Pete, Pete, Big Sam is a soft porn calendar of a football manager. <laughs> <Absolutely. laughs> 
Absolutely. <laughs> he's, no, he's an airbrush picture of Angelina Jolie on the side of some dodgems. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. I like that, yeah. Like, not, it doesn't look enough like Angelina Jolie to yeah. bother a lawyer. Yeah. He's, he's, some, he's, he's a saucepan full of overcooked vegetables on a rainy Sunday afternoon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Stewed. Because that's yeah. cooking. Yeah. He's an old Stew armchair. And cooking yeah. are the same. Yeah. He's a melted record made in an ashtray. Yeah. yeah. He's, he's a half drunk can of mild <laughs> on a. November Monday afternoon. Mm. He's a bottle that's, of that's lemonade. Had a put out in it. Yeah. yeah, he's a bottle of lemonade you get off the uh, milkman. He's yeah. a, a oh, glass yeah. one. A glass yeah. one. A glass yeah. one. Yeah. He's, yeah. he's a melted chuck ice. Mate, <laughs> <laughs> it's a melted chuck ice. Or Arctic roll. Oh, mm. we could go on and on. Yeah. Should we, no, yeah. Shall we? Just, 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 <laughs> he just left Hull. Yeah. yeah. I did. I, I did some coaches. Do I have some coaches of, of mine? Of course. Yeah. Cause his name is Sam Allardyce. Oh, there we go. <laughs> You would have a go at one of us if we did this. I never do pu- I never do puns, and now it's my turn. Nice wordplay. The problem puns. is, when we agree to letting people do stuff, we've got to let Pete agree. All right. Exactly. Yeah. Go right. Ahead. So his coaching staff will very much be casino based. Sam Allardyce. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Jimmy Cardi. Oh, well, all right. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> That's his best one, and it's not gone down very well. He's thinking, oh, no, I'm committed to this. Go on, I'm all ears. Davar Porker. <laughs> well, for Davar Suka? Yeah. He doesn't that rhyme doesn't with poker, work. and he isn't English. Yeah, shut up. Yeah, you can be a coach. Mario Croupier. You can be a coach and stuff, can't you? PSG's goalkeeper, Kevin Craps. Yeah. Okay, yeah. 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 Uh, Diego Ben Gordon. Bingo. What, Diego Godin? Okay. Godin. Yeah. Godin. Still yeah. playing. Yeah. <laughs> Who wants to be a coach for England? Er- Eric Bakker. Well, who's that? Eric Bakker. <laughs> Blackjack Wilshire. Blackjack Wilshire. Okay. There we go. Right. Yeah. There's Ru- one. Roulette Fox. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. okay, there we are. Uh, Shinji Kagawa. That's just a, a footballer's Cause, name. Because he's a real Asian stud. <laughs> It's a kind of poor code, oh, Marcus. Go on, then. What do you know about Shinji one, Kagawa? One, one set of fans who won't be pleased with this appointment, though. The Pontoon England. Army. <laughs> Pontoon yeah. Army. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, shall we yeah. just sweep this sorry episode under the rug? It's uncomfortable for me that you keep looking at me while doing this. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're my only hope. Yeah, well, do you want another game? You can. Get in there, ladies Get and gentlemen. Get in there. Get in there. Right. Le- this, is, this is the time. Ladies and gentlemen, How everyone's been waiting for the <laughs> section of the show which I've called the opening of the envelope to reveal our pre-tournament predictions. I think that's descriptive enough. Show. Every single yeah. one. Do you know what? I, I was thinking that's annoyed in the studio. I was thinking, why do we do this every time? Yeah, I've got to do this now. Yeah, and I was thinking to myself. This is as bad yeah. as knowing how bad England are going to be. Right. Yeah. I, we, have to, we have to do both the disappointment. Yeah, it's yeah. the same thing. You get really excited about making the predictions. and think, oh, I'd be brilliant when we open these. Do you come around? No. Just, yeah, no, just exactly. sh- shame and embarrassment. There's, there's one prediction. Well, it, it, it'll come out. Well, but well, what I want to do is I'm just going to, in case people have forgotten, yes. I'm just going to read through all the actual categories. Yeah, right. Okay, so before the tournament, we all anonymously and individually yeah. sealed some prediction, which we gave to Joel. Yeah. Um, and the categories were... Name the winner, mm-hmm. name the dark horse, mm-hmm. name the, f- the place, the time and stage that England were knocked out, yep. name the top scorer, mm-hmm. name the total goals, mm. name the total cards, yep. and name a strange occurrence that could occur during the tournament yep. itself. Okay, okay so we, we've, we've with the predictions. Yes. Pete Donaldson went for a round of 16. Oh, yeah. 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 Cynical Pete, paying off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Finally. If Pete wins this, we're not doing it again. <laughs> <laughs> if, Pete, if Pete wins this, we're doing Premier League, <laughs> don't FA worry. Cup. Don't worry, the categories don't stop there. <laughs> <laughs> right, next up, next up is top score. The amount of cards <laughs> was, was there were uh, 185 yellows and yep. three reds. So 188. 188 in total. Okay, Peter, what did Jim put? Well, we separated them into yellows and reds, didn't we? No, uh, no, not here. We haven't. So just no, t- no, title them up. Oh, okay, okay. Well, that it involves me <laughs> adding stuff up. Uh, it was 151. Okay, Ooh. so 37 quite, away. Quite a few out. Um, uh, Marcus went for 147, so 41 That's snooker on the mind. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and, Luke, wrong. And, you know, fair play to the, the big man. Uh, went for 180. Oh, Darts on the mind. Yeah, okay. Yeah. What did, what did, would Pete separate? <laughs> <laughs> this actually, I love the fact that you separated this. Because if you'd have totaled them up, it would have been fair enough. It would have been fair enough. Because right. in total, you put 175, yeah. which isn't a bad guess. But let's look at the breakdown. <laughs> Uh, 160 yellow cards, 15 red cards. <laughs> I thought 
was going to be. I thought it was going to be a lot of counter-attacking football. I thought it was going to be a lot of yellow Seriously, cards minutes, becoming a red. Give me a minute. Red. I thought it was going to be a lot of like you know. You know, professional fouls and getting was, sent off. There was three red cards at well, the You know, you did that. Honestly, 175, you're fine. Leave yeah. it at that. We all did. Se- I thought we had to go separate. Jim did his separate. I'm you're, still, you're still defending going separate. You chose 15 red. Doesn't matter. By your rules, I'm really close. You're close, but Luke was I'm the closest. Right, anyway. yeah. Um, and the final uh, category, as I said earlier, was name a strange occurrence or unusual thing that could have happened during the tournament. It's kind of vague in this one, but it's for a bit of fun. Yeah, I, I, didn't th- I didn't. I just rushed mine out, to be honest, so apologies for mine. Well, actually. Well, wait. Well, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Come on, Dramatically, yeah, yeah. Okay, here we go, Marcus. Shotgun, I want to repeat that one. Pete's just simply put, a penis will be seen. <laughs> Well, I, I, Dan didn't think of anything. <laughs> so and you guys so were, that's uh, the go-to thing. And they got the a shot. penis pops out. If your mind goes blank, there's just dicks everywhere. Mate, bloody Yogi Love. It was uh, a penis was definitely smelled. A penis was smelled at points. Could have happened. Oh, still better than your red cards, yeah. <laughs> However, <laughs> Pete technically was right because yes. that Irish fan, he got on top of the car and he whipped his kex down, didn't he? And oh, they did all he? Cheered. So uh, a penis was seen. Yes. Who have thought out of the 100,000 men, <laughs> the 100,000 penises that could have been seen, one was seen. Yeah. yeah. Pretty safe bet, really. So, really, I mean, you didn't specify on the pitch or anything. Mm. No. And that video did the rounds. I mean, to be fair, we did a recording uh, a few weeks ago and I got my penis out then, didn't I? So, oh, come it was what? Do, come we, do we count on. that Irish fan? Do we count yes, that? Yes, so. has a penis been seen? Yeah. Is that <laughs> it counts. It counts. <laughs> It's, to be fair to Pete, it's a ter- it's been it's pissy. It's to the point. Yeah. There's no mucking around with fancy oh. flowery language. Is so there? then, ladies and gentlemen, the winner of of uh, the Euro 2016 <laughs> predictions was Pete, Pete Donaldson. Donaldson. Yes! Yes! Absolutely. <laughs> We've learned here that Pete can broadly predict the future, Never which is a worrying development for mankind. New Pete the octopus. Mm. <laughs> Pete yeah, the octopus. Well, put it away. Put it away. <laughs> which is very fitting. But I will end with a quote. As, as I often as I often do with these, uh, or certainly used to with these profiles, former Leicester manager Sven Goran Eriksson oh. <laughs> <laughs> summed it up all rather nicely by saying, "It's like a dream for everyone that loves football, and if you love football, then you certainly love Leicester's 2015-16 season." And they're coming into the Dean Redknapp Hall of Fame. Welcome, welcome, Leicester. Make yourselves comfortable. Have a little dust in there. Absolutely. Probably get Kanta to clean it out. Absolutely. <laughs> it's, it's been a pleasure talking to you. Thank you very much. Say goodbye, Jim. Goodbye. Say goodbye, Luke. Goodbye. Say goodbye, Petey. Goodbye. See goodbye you in a me. few years. <laughs> <laughs>